What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start, I do want to say that I'm doing the Jordan 1 raffle. Every raffle entry is a dollar each. You can go ahead and purchase that down in the description down below. You are joining a raffle for a seven and a half. I did promise you guys a Q&A on the sneaker bot series. And I know I am two days late. I don't know why, but for some reason I forgot to upload this on Tuesday. So on the last episode, I told you guys to drop questions down in the comments. And you guys did. So those are the questions that I will be answering. And I'm sorry if I look down a lot. It's because I am looking at the laptop. So let's get started. So the first question is... How to know if something like Supreme or certain release will resell, how to judge the hype. So basically the question is how to judge the hype on a certain drop. And honestly, the only way to answer this is basically you got to do your research. You got to be able to go on different social medias like Twitter, Instagram, um, go on, online too. Go on sneakernews.com, Soul Collector. Soul Collector has a thing called a copper drop so you can see, or cop or not. It'll show you the amount, like the percentages of the people that will cop it and the percent that will not cop it. And also YouTube is another good way of knowing the hype for some releases because if YouTubers do talk about it a lot, they'll tell you if it's going to be hype or not, or sometimes it won't be. But sometimes it's hard to predict. Like the Space Jams, a lot of people thought they were going to sit, but in the end, they all sold out. All right, the next question is, how many proxies do you buy and where from? I don't want to recommend proxies to you guys or any servers or any bots to you. Because if you guys don't succeed with it, then you guys are probably going to be mad. And then you guys are going to like, bring that on me, and I'm not trying to get that. So I'd rather you guys do your research and see what works. Like I said, go on AIO's Twitter feed, and then they always retweet the people that have success with their bot and people always tag the proxies that they use so go ahead and check those out as well and if they're succeeding with them then I'm pretty sure you can too but in regards to how many proxies I would buy I would only get 10 because that's the most I can afford if I were able to check out with all 10 but if you got all the capital in the world and all the money to spend towards the bots then go ahead and buy the total amount of proxies that your bot allows you to get the next question is what's the difference between private and dedicated proxies I want 50 proxies from YPP which are private but not dedicated private proxies are proxies that are just for you so they're not shared proxies and not like somebody else is sharing that proxy with you but you really want dedicated because dedicated is dedicated just for those sneaker websites like adidas the foot sites nike or whatever other websites there are because the proxies that they're going to give you that are dedicated they're going to be closer to the server of that website next question how many proxies do you recommend for something as limited as a pirate black easy release 50 or 100 like i said earlier go ahead and get the same amount of proxies as accounts that you have on your bot Next question up is by the same person, Marcus Green. He asked again, people have been saying AIO isn't cooking anymore. Thoughts? Is it still good or should I buy a different bot? I would say, I don't know, just because I haven't been really using bots lately. I sold my bot, as some of you guys may know, so I really wouldn't know. But I know AIO has been around forever. They've been around, like, probably one of the longest they've been in the game. And they've been cooking for a lot of people. They actually, I've seen people get quite a good amount of pairs on from their bot like i said twitter is the way to go people speak their minds on there and they'll tell you their feedback on the certain bots so go to twitter for questions like these next question is from sean laid holt he asks do you use the address variation for billing addresses as well when checking out or do you only need to change the shipping address and not mess with the billing so i usually only change the shipping address and i click keep billing the same and i haven't had a problem with this so you can go ahead and do the same thing Next question is by 77 Caboose. He asks, what's your success rate? For example, you tried the AIO bot on 15 drops and got 7 out of 15. Would love to see a real run through the next easy drop. Thanks. I honestly can't remember the exact number, but I have tried a lot of times, and I have failed more than I succeeded just because when I first started, I didn't really know how to use the bot, and I know I was using it incorrectly, but as I started learning how to use it more and more, I started succeeding. So it's just a matter of knowing how to use the bot. And I'm sorry I can't show you a real run on the next easy run just because I don't have a bot anymore. Next question is by Morwin Sherris. So you're telling me the shipping address doesn't need to match the billing? My understanding was it did for credit card fraud and our purposes. Like I said, just click the box that says same billing address or same as shipping and you're set. Next question is by Jordan P. He asks, I don't know if we covered this, but how is it that you use bots that run on Windows on a Mac? Well, if you have a Mac and you buy from AIO, they tell you to set up this thing called VirtualBox. And they send you the instructions on how to do it, or sometimes they can even do it for you. And that's how you run Windows on Mac. Marcus Green asked another question. He asked, why do I need accounts? Can I just run a bunch of tasks for different websites on one account? Well, I've been saying accounts a lot, but what I really meant was tasks. But I know what he's saying. He's asking about certain accounts. And I would say no. Use different accounts or make different accounts just because if you use the same account, a lot of your orders are going to get canceled, and that's not what we want here. We're trying to get as many shoes possible. And I know it's a lot of work to make a lot of accounts and find different addresses and all that but if you really want the shoes don't be lazy and I was the same way I didn't really want to make all these accounts but you're gonna to have to if you really want all these shoes not that you're lazy but just put in the work if you want something just put in the work for it next question by Juan Hernandez is when is the raffle 
The raffle ends when all 300 spots are filled. And right now there's about 80 spots filled. Producer Nay asks, how many proxies recommended would be my question. Once again, get as many proxies as tasks as you can if you can afford it. And last but not least, Coke Kicks. He says, next easy drop, make a video of your bot setup and how you work everything. Fortunately, I can't. I sold my bot, so I no longer have it. I can't show you guys. Like I said earlier, I'm very sorry about that. I tried to do my best in the last video, but I wasn't going to buy proxies and servers just because it would have been a waste of my money. I didn't have the best internet, and I wouldn't have been able to cop anything anyway. So I'm very sorry for that, guys. I apologize. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to hit the 10,000 by February 11th, which is Sneaker Comfort Lauderdale, and I will be out there. And by the way, this is the last video of the series, so there will be no more Sneaker Bots series. So thank you guys for watching so much. I appreciate it. It means a lot to me. It's your boy, Arch Sneaker, signing out. Make sure you stay woke. Peace.